Good morning, Bermuda. We, the Democratic, Bermuda Democratic Alliance, are excited this morning about the prospect and the dawning of what we believe to be a new day in politics. We are excited and overjoyed that not only on our anniversary, our first year anniversary, we have the opportunity today, on November the 8th, in spite of the clouds and in spite of the rain, which shows the resilience of the Bermuda Democratic Alliance, that we will do everything that we must do to represent the people of Bermuda, irregardless of the circumstances around us. Again, I say to you that we, the BDA, the Bermuda Democratic Alliance, are excited and overjoyed because we get to represent and we get to announce today in constituency number 26 our candidate whom we have come to love and adore over this last year whom we are excited about and overjoyed that this day truly represents a new day in politics so without further ado I say to you with that excitement and with that joy the Bermuda Democratic Alliance announces our candidate for number 26 constituency, Sylvan Richards. I want to say thank you to everyone who came out today to support me, especially my family who stands behind me and my friends. It's a great day to, to, to be here, and uh, I just want to just thank the press for, for turning out today, even though the weather is inclement. But one thing I do want to say before I start my formal uh, words is that life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. My name is Sylvan Richards Jr. It is an honor to speak before you today. This part of work is dear to my heart. My maternal grandmother, Eloise Stubble, lived on Hyper Pass right across from the Amos Funeral Road. Some of my father's early childhood memories include riding my cuddle bike up to my grandmother's house just up the hill from here. I would run across the street to buy treats from Simon's grocery store and play with the children in the neighborhood. When I was 15 years old, my family moved from Padgett to Hillby Ward, where we lived for a few years while my father built his house on Ward Lane. My parents, my sister, and her family still live there today. I know this area and its people. The good, hardworking people of Constituency 26 deserve integrity, transparency, and accountability from their elected representative. They deserve leadership that is both accessible and in turn responsive to their needs. As a son of the soil and someone with lifelong ties to this community, I will be honored to serve the people of Constituency 26. I will listen to your concerns and embrace your ideas for improving the neighborhoods of this constituency and in turn the country. It is for this reason that I have decided to run as the Bermuda Democratic Alliance's candidate in the by-election for Constituency 26, Ward South Central. I want to tell you a bit more about why I've chosen to run as a candidate for the Bermuda Democratic Alliance in this by-election. I was born in 1959, a pivotal year for our island. It was the year of the theater boycott, which resulted in the integration of Bermuda's hotels and theaters. When I was old enough to understand the significance of my year of birth, I understood that one day I too would do my part to shape and ensure Bermuda's future. Bermuda, our island home, is facing daunting challenges. We face many pressing issues such as the loss of jobs due to the downturn in the global and local economy, the increase in gun crime which threatens our family's safety, and the failure of our educational system to adequately prepare our young people to compete in the new economy, to name a few. We need new leaders who will listen to the community and work to create innovative ideas, programs and methods to get Bermuda and its people back on the track to success. I am ready to provide that leadership. I believe that one of my responsibilities is to hold the current government accountable and to demand transparency, integrity, and accountability from myself and all of our elected officials, regardless of party affiliation. External forces that are reshaping our economy demand new Bermudian leaders 
to put people and doing the right thing over party politics. All of our citizens, especially young Bermudians who are the future of this country, are looking for something to believe in again. They need hope. Our people need jobs, security in our neighborhoods, and a sound, rigorous educational system that will prepare our young people to compete on a global level. We as a country have come a long way, but if we are to go from strength to strength, it is going to take the involvement and participation of all of our people. Bermuda's greatest attribute has always been its people. Therefore, we cannot afford to ignore anyone, and we must embrace diversity, for it is through our diversity that we become stronger. The challenges we face require a different way forward. A better way. I humbly request your support in serving as your member of Parliament for more self-centered. Together, we can create a new Bermuda for all Bermudas. Thank you. The ghost of Dr. Brown hangs over this constituency. Is that going to help you or hinder you? You know, Dr. Brown did his best. I was a supporter of Dr. Brown, a very ardent supporter of Dr. Brown. In fact, in the last election, I come to votes for Dr. Brown at St. Mary's Hall. But due to circumstance and the choices that he made, I became very disillusioned with this with his decisions and, and how it affected Bermuda as a country. So, to answer your question, I think the ghost of Dr. Brown will aid and abet in my run up to this violation. I think the most, well there are a few, but I think they're the same issues that are facing Bermuda as a country. Residents are concerned about their personal safety, they're concerned about breaking and entries. They're concerned about their children being educated in an adequate fashion. Uh, I have been out knocking on doors, and there are some parochial issues that some of the residents have that I have been made aware of, and I will be talking to more people, getting their ideas. I'm, I'm, I'm not about trying to dictate or, or work from the top down. This is gonna be a grassroots effort People from this constituency will identify what their needs are, what their issues are, and I will listen and I will work with them to come up with solutions for the problems that they bring to my attention. Can you share your leader's um, comments about the, uh, the government's overspending and the dangers that have created? Of course I do. Um, we've had a situation of the last four years or so where everybody knows about it, our death has been run well off. Checks and balances that were in place but were not adhered to. Um, the current premier is, 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 is doing things to remedy that. You know, all tendering has to come from her now. All betting of government contracts have to go to her. I think that's a good thing. But what it does, it just basically shows how far how to wrap things work before she decided to put these procedures in place. If she needs to take such drastic action now, that suggests to me, and such suggests to all right thinking Bermudians, that these things were being ignored and abused under the last administration. So I support her in that. But I think the questions the average Bermudian needs to ask is why was it allowed to get to that point? And the folks who are running things now, the new cabinet ministers, were part and party to that. I think these are the legitimate questions that need to be asked. Thank you. Thank you.